Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today you've got me, the Margarita Kid, and I am drinking a, uh, I think the copper mug gives it away. It's a Moscow Mule. And I am going to be reacting to a Bandmade song. It's been a little while since I've reacted to Bandmade. Uh, it looks like this might be a double. The request was for Hate, but the link was to this live concert, which looks like it's two songs, Dice and Hate. Uh, this was recommended from, uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, Roger Chance, 9074. Um, and I, apparently he's in some kind of a contest with friends or something. And so he wanted the shout out. So there you have it, Roger Chance. All right. So the request initially also, not this one, but there was an earlier one for hate that said you might want to watch the uh, original music video or official music video for DICE first, uh, but just due to time constraints, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to watch DICE and HATE, apparently. This is from Lollapalooza last year. Let's get it. All right, so, uh, so I'm digging this so far. Uh, I've never actually been to a Lollapalooza concert. Uh, so if anybody watching has been to one, let me know uh, like what you thought of it. Were there good bands, bad bands? Did you have a good time? What was the whole crowd like? I'm kind of interested. The only big concert I've been to like that was the Woodstock 94, the 25th reunion. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, it wasn't the one that I think it was the 30th anniversary one that was the one that had like the giant fires and riots and stuff at the end. Uh, luckily, I was able to miss that one. Uh, we just had to deal with a little bit of rain. Not a big deal, but it was a good show, a good concert. Uh, so I don't know if this, you know, looking at the crowd size, it obviously wasn't as large as a as like a Woodstock one would be, but it still seemed like there were a lot of people there. And so I'm curious if like there's normally a lot more people, like maybe this is early and the crowds are still coming in or or whatever. But yeah, I don't know a lot about the concerts. I know they've been out for ages. I think it was uh, Perry Farrell from Jane's Addiction is the one who started that whole thing. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time. Anyway, but they're sounding great. The sound quality on this is pretty good. Uh, I have no idea what she's saying. Uh, and sometimes I'm not even sure if she's going to be singing in English or not. Uh, because sometimes they jump around a little bit, but the I think with the live audio, I can't really understand much. Maybe that's why they said you should watch the the OMV first, but uh, still really enjoying it. They sound very good. I see that transition. There was a, it seemed like there was a transition right when I paused, and I was curious if it seems like it's still too early for it to have been moving into another song, but maybe a different phase of... The bass part there was really cool.
and, and I don't want to miss out on the fact that it sounded like there were some pretty cool percussion things going on there as well. Um, but I'm going to listen to that one more time because I just love good bass. I was going to comment earlier, uh, I always like watching the drummer, and I can't remember her name, the drummer, but she's typically always got this huge smile on her face. And when I was, you know, rewinding on that bass part earlier where she was playing the percussion, uh, and I was saying, you know, it sounded like it was something that was a little more complicated. And I don't know, Jack, about percussion. It's just what it seemed like to me. But she kind of had a serious face on, which is actually what triggered me to say, maybe this is actually hard enough that she's not smiling. Um, so I, I guess I almost assume if she's not smiling, it means she's focusing on something difficult. Maybe that's, you know, not true. Um, but that's how I'm interpreting it anyway. So it looks like here she's back to smiling again. And it's, I'm not sure, but maybe it just finally made the transition to the next song. It's got to be so hot wearing that kind of outfit on a you know warm day up on the stage like that. Hopefully it's windy because I, I just can't imagine they're not sweating like mad. My only complaint so far is the camera work is never quite on the person I want it to be on in a way that is meaningful to me. Uh, so what I mean by that is like a lot of times there's been guitar breaks or things where they've been showing like somebody else who's just kind of not doing not not doing anything that should be focused. Or here when the guitar player is playing, they're showing her from the back when she's doing kind of a break. And so I just like to be able to watch people's hands when they play. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, but I, just, I wish the camera work were, I don't want to say better, but just, I want it to be more what I want it to be. <laughs>
see, like right there. I would love to have seen the drummer doing that fill. And they literally show all four other members of the band when she's doing that fill like that. See, that's what I like. This almost sounds it could be like a, a, a movie soundtrack song or something. It's a little bit different in a way that, I don't know, for whatever reason, reminds me of like movie soundtracks. Just the way there's like those little guitar fills in the background and the way the kind of structure keeps changing. I, I don't know. It's just, I like this a lot. bass section there wasn't a bass player the whole time now don't get me wrong the drummer was doing some cool stuff and i'm glad that she was in there but it seems like they should have had a camera view with both of them Okay, so two quick questions. So one is, in the original version of the song, is there that extended instrumental break? Or is that just something super awesome they did uh, for this concert? That, cause that was really cool. Um, so I'd be interested to see if that was, you know, if it's always there or if it's something something new. Um, I, dang, I know I had a second question, but I forgot what it is. If I remember, later I'll ask. <laughs> I remember now, it wasn't actually a question. It was just more like a, I imagine if you went to Lollapalooza and you had never heard of Bandmade and you're there and, you know, these girls come out and, you know, they're dressed like maids or, you know, uh, some of them are more maid looking traditionally than others, I guess. But either way, 
like you're probably not thinking you're going to have your face melted off. Uh, and, you know, I'll bet it was a really pleasant surprise for people who had never seen this band before when they saw the show. I mean, so I'm going to restate that for a second. When I said like traditional maid outfits, like I don't think I've ever seen a maid dress like this, but I guess I mean more of like a stereotyped like maid outfit, if that makes sense. Sick boy, Ren, all my Why life. Why are you auto playing? Yeah. Ren. I don't know why I went to that song. Ren. In any case, not a big deal. I mean, don't get me wrong. Queso is a great reactor. But we're not reacting to Queso. We're not reacting to Ren. We're reacting to Bandmade. And I'll be darned if I know at this moment how to get that back. Not that, like I said, it's a big deal, but I'm working on some sort of an interface here where I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm going to just leave it here. Sorry, you get to look at Queso for a couple seconds while I close out. Uh, Bandmade, if you're not familiar with the band, make sure you go to their YouTube page, subscribe to them, like them, give them comments, show them love. Uh, they deserve it because they're a great band. Uh, and I will have a link to the original video posted in the comments. Make sure you go and give that a thumbs up as well. And uh, I've also been mentioning in some of my videos that people question whether or not I have daughters or that I, if I do, if I react with them, and I do. And so I'm also going to post a link in the description of a playlist I made with the 20 or so videos that they've actually been around for when I've done reactions and they've done them with me. Uh, at least one of them. I've got three. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. Um, sometimes there's, you know, some other guest people with them, friends or my wife or whomever, but they always have at least one of my daughters in the videos in that playlist. So that'll be there as well. Um, and I think that's about it. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks for hanging out. I hope to see you again soon. And, uh, you know, go ahead and leave comments uh, just because I like reading them. I like to see what you guys think about things. Uh, let me know what you want me to react to. It can be more um, band-made stuff. It could be something totally different. Um, at the moment, I think I'm going down about 20 different rabbit holes. It makes it a little bit difficult to keep up because uh, there's a lot of great music out there and people are recommending a lot of really interesting things. And I'm trying to do as much as I can. But like I said, time is a little bit uh, restricted. And so I'm doing what I can to spread out my reactions amongst all these different things that I'm interested in. Um, so anyway, again, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.